Cap Deck, the best and worst thing to happen to Sharon Carter. As a character, personally, it was just bad. Sharon was first introduced back in 1965 in issue 75 of Tales of Suspense. She and Steve became a couple basically immediately. Like, there was a bit of will they, won't they, and where they try to find each other. But from the get-go, they were pretty much dating. And their relationship went for a long time, up until 1979, when the thing I'm about to tell you about happened. Problem was that, at least for me, she was getting to be a really boring character. Constantly worrying about Cap, they were constantly fighting and bickering, and, you know, there was just some sexist storylines being written about her, and it just really began to wear on me when I was reading through it. So in 1979, they killed her off. Off screen. Like, as a side note. Like, we learn of it literally through Cap seeing it on a recording days later and just, you know, realizes she's gone. And for a character that had been around for 14 years as Cap's basically only love interest that whole time, she deserved much better. However, this ended up being the thing that could kind of kickstart her character in a new and better direction. Although it wouldn't happen for another 15 years. When Mark Wade took over the writing duties for the comic in 1995, one of the first things he did was bring back Sharon Carter. And this Sharon Carter was a new, I don't want to say edgier because that makes it sound different than it was, but she was harder because we found out that she had faked her death on orders of S.H.I.E.L.D. to infiltrate a place, but then was abandoned by S.H.I.E.L.D. Because of this, she was much harder and more cynical, which led to a good contrast between her and the ever-optimistic Cap. So while overall I think it was a mistake to off her, especially in such a nonchalant way that we don't even really get to have an emotional impact for, but I don't see how we could have taken that version of Sharon and turned her into the version we have today without something drastic like that happening. 